I think a lot of it, a lot of music has gotten very technical, and it's it's almost too technical. And uh, you know, where's the story? You know, Leslie Young. And so sometimes the story, yeah, you know, I get, I'm getting a little bit in, trying to reevaluate what I'm doing. I, I don't play consistently enough. I play in my basement a lot with jam session kind of, call it jazzercise. A lot of younger musicians just play. But I've been thinking that maybe I have to start editing a little more, you know, like John Lewis and I, I was friends with John Lewis and I played, a, <laughs> we did a duet recording and I never met him. You know, we came to Los Angeles and we go into the studio, Chick Corea studio, and played and I, you know, I realized <laughs> I better cool it because I'm gonna sound stupid if I, you know, too aggressive and so I play like, I play with my ear on the harp and the piano because he, he didn't play, he played softly and, and I just try to, you know, find the right balance. I didn't want to be totally, you know, passive but try to find the right balance, and I think I did, pretty much. I was I was 40 years old, I guess, <laughs> just turned around 40, and it was a great experience. And John loved it, loved it. And he played incredibly. He played great. Like so, uh, so you know, I'm think John was a master of crystallization. And now, if I once a couple of times I hear Barry Harris play, he he is he's like that and uh, I guess I, I'd like to work on being more like that but it's I, I don't know it's not that easy <laughs> you grew up in a certain way and like I used to play like I played one time two hours straight one tune in the army we had a like a contest <laughs> and was well, probably was the most, the most horrible thing you ever heard but it was a stamina thing. Now I, you know, I can't do that, but I can still play too long, and I can still too, play too many notes. So that's that's hard. That's a challenge, you know. Hopefully, you know, if I keep on working at it, it's like I was. I grew up in the in the existential philosophy days, Jean Paul Sartre and all that, and it was like the concept of in becoming. You're in the process. It's the process. So, no matter how old you get, it's still the process. So that, you know, <clears throat> Clark Terry's philosophy was: there's a fine line between a groove and a grave. So, that kind of fits in. Philosophy. He was a philosopher that, when I was a kid, he was on one of the talk shows, late night talk shows, and he's someone asked him. I think it was. Maybe it was Steve Allen, one of those guys. Can you explain your philosophy in a couple of sentences? He said, yeah, I think so. Maybe the human condition is you can't win, but you can try. So I wrote a tune called Chasing the Carrot, you know. I don't know if anybody realized what that meant, but. So I'm sure Bird felt the same way, and we all feel, you know, you're always falling short. You're never there, you're, on a, you're trying to get there. And I said, that's the beauty of it. So you're never finished. So I'm, I'm counting on the fact that I'm not getting, getting any younger and trying to uh, deal, create positivity out of what might be, like I remember, like Frank West, you know, he, he's, you know, obviously, not a spring chicken, a certain point, and he had asthma. <laughs> and you get up and play, sound wonderful. He he adapted his equipment to what he could handle physically, utilized the microphone. I don't do that yet. I haven't gotten to that point. But uh, and played maybe better than ever from a musical point of view. <laughs> 